this is just to close the deal. Let me demonstrate to you. This is going to be part number two. And I'm going to claim this is MKUltra proofs. I don't know how much this is going to be right or not. Uh, this proofs were heavily polluted by the British. Uh, I realized that was astonishing amount of violence that have taken place in this case too. Uh, further, Slovenian psychiatrists, Slovenian police also appeared at Belluno. Uh, it was the time when Israelis no longer had to come, but instead of them, it was the substitution that arrived, which were those on whose behalf they performed, so, uh, therefore Israelis performed violence against me, top Israeli politicians. Israelis began, commenced violence against me in 1995. However, just about three years later, in 1998, you had Borut Pahor, Slovenian Borut Pahor, uh, psychiatrists, Slovenian police also heading uh, toward these mountains. So this is going to be part number two. You can imagine what the fuck went on. And the telephone numbers which Israeli politicians handed uh, had locals write down evidently were passed on to Slovenian politicians because with my appearance it, on this trail toward these mountains in Beluno area uh, totally, totally, totally Exactly the same, exactly uh, identical procedure next to the psychiatrist, Slovenian police, Slovenian politicians, exactly the same, poli the same procedure continued, involving exactly the same people. I can recall these people. I can recall them as well. Now, uh, this is going to be part number two in respect to a video I already have posted. This is the video here, MK Ultra. here is who and how jump-started war against me throughout the Europe. I already have gave a precise uh, description of what exactly happened in throughout United States of America in 1995 when Israel launched war against me through Democratic Party involving many minorities for the sake of Vladimir Putin, for the sake of Russia. And so now it's time for me to seal the deal in respect to Europe, European Union, how it all started. And the best for me is, unfortunately, the case of Maria Cristina. And uh, also a friend of hers, Ciro Bess. Unfortunately, um, something I don't like to do, especially because they asked me not to. This absolutely is not against, in any way, against the Italian community. There is a tremendous unemployment rate in this area. Uh, many companies in the area were facing huge challenges, trouble economic problems and so uh, I'm not going to say all forgiven but I'm going to say I hope that something positive can come out of this for entire Europe not only for the people in this region I think this should be era of the people not of the special interests that are being used to strangle uh, interests of the general population, our prosperity, uh, common work, development, and so on. This is excellent place. I highly recommend this place. I will also say that uh, Slovenes, Slovenian side, took me, took me also to the Slovenian Alps, and have insisted me. Uh, with a very, very mentally ill scenarios, talking about the Slovenian police, using also silicon masks and so on. However, I have clearly noticed it was in Slovenia, 
uh, claiming me on how I will never see Slovenia again. Slovenian police uh, or any other place that this is going to be it for me in Italy in this place uh, I will stay here forever captured drugged up they tortured me and so on Slovenian police obviously were very very well acquainted also with the situation British royals have created in India in India British royals and also in South Africa insisted on how I will never get to see the daylight again elsewhere uh, then in the cities where they brought me and to Africa and to in India so that for me to be hijacked abducted for the rest of my life they will spend life the rest of their life like this that's very very fucked up uh, Slovenian police obviously I learned from the experience of Belluno learned in details about the British whereabouts about the British animals, how they treated me. Mm -hmm. British animals based in London serving as special interests, assisting those in special needs, breaching the laws, breaching the constitution, providing a special services, criminal services, for the sake of special needs, people with a special needs, basically. Let's just go and finish this thing here. This place, what I can tell you, just as I see this here, this is Porto Oria, this gate here. The only thing I'm going to say to you, I used to go here with Maria Cristina through this gate here to her father, to the family of her father. She started to go to, and I had no idea that she was so young. I don't know how is it possible the child was actually taking me to the father for a visit. That's crazy. I don't know. They trusted me with more than with their lives. They trusted me with their children. I don't know what to tell you. This is like blowing my mind when I think, what the hell? I mean, seriously, you shouldn't do this stuff. I know that I was very, very cultured and very nice person. Uh, definitely, but, uh, you, you shouldn't do this stuff like this. I mean, you shouldn't, you really, really shouldn't do stuff like that. This is crazy. Uh, she walked, she would walk, uh, with me from her mom nicely through the whole city. Uh, I was pretty damn sure this is a problem about MK Ultra, that she was much older. This is a big problem that in a way I am ashamed because it was Underage girls that I have mistaken for older females. That's not good. That's just not good. That's very, very bad. Uh, and in some cases, they related them. They related them to afterwards refer to me as a pedophile and stuff like this. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Mainly, I was interested in older women. I was, the women, the females, beautiful females that were in their 20s that were interested in me were not even interested to in me because of their age, because they were young. It is as crazy as this in my case, that I was interested in, in a ripe woman. I was interested in a woman in their 40s, basically, even 50s. This is just, thanks God, the way it played out. I, I, why? Uh... They were doing this kind of stuff. Well, maybe they wanted to create some kind of a pedophilia or something like this case. Not the people in Italy. Absolutely not. Not the people anywhere in Europe. Absolutely not. Uh, but then again, the minds, the twisted minds of the psychiatrists, the Serbs and the Russians that were involved in this stuff. Uh, the twisted, uh, malicious ways with which they uh, extorted uh, were really, really based on a mentally ill principles. And pedophilia was just something that it was like fluttered throughout the internet about uh, they had uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, 
they flooded the internet with it was like a news that they did get this guy they got that guy and they had a, a porn of the children and so on and now you know about the my long-term forced unemployment when they basically soften your brain with the chemicals involved in mk ultra and with electroshocks the chances are that the world like this eventually would somehow some way appeal to you so you know they had a twisted minds we're talking about british about the buckingham palace we're talking about the sick mentally ill twisted minds here i would not just estimate any of these people we're talking about the cannibals here that's my review i can give you on the people from london this is this here this was beginning the age like maybe even she was like 11 years old when she was walking through these gates with me to her to the family of her father right through here this mm -hmm. this thing here what exactly is going on here with this from what I can recall, because I am not going to go by the stuff that British involved in it, they created like a hundred different scenarios in this city. It appeared to me that the whole thing, the truth that they revealed me, appeared to them rather than as a mistake. And they were trying to cover the traces about the truth. So they came up with a hundred other versions. What's interesting, they blamed all on Russians when I was in Poland. But the picture about covering the traces of abuse, MK Ultra torture, traced straight into the Buckingham Palace, it traced straight into a London. Maria Cristina Masoko, as well as known in Feltre, she lived in Borgo Ruga with her mother and sister and had an active role in the Palio. So let's see the map. So this is a Feltre, so this, that's where she was well known. Um, Feltre, she lived in Borgo Ruga. We're going to see this here. She lived in the Borgo Ruga. Borgo Ruga is a little bit north of what I demonstrated to you right now. Uh, and that she, understand, now currently had lived in Porto Oria district. Well, but basically, from what I can recall, um, Maria Cristina, her mother, uh, her sister, uh, used to live in Feltre, inside of the apartment building. That was in Feltre. Um... That's at least what I would love to think. When it comes to Borgo Ruga, there's also a possibility they lived in apartment in also what is known as a Borgo Ruga. That's also possible. Um, I don't know. Was it in Borgo Ruga or was it in Feltre that was the apartment building? But from what I can recall, according to the memory, in Feltre, it was more the people with a poor background. People, apartment buildings, if you understand. But in Borgoruga, there was more housing projects. And so I assume that Borgoruga is where, from her mother's side, house was. So that meaning they moved from Feltre to Borgoruga. But during the stay in Feltre, as I stated earlier, I would still commute with Maria Cristina to Polo in the Porta Oria. This is actually where her family from her father's side was because the mom and father of Maria Cristina lived separately from one another you understand so but it appears to me that from the house of her mother uh, eventually what used to be even her grandmother it appears to me that she moved from Borgoruga to Palo in the Port Oria they did struggle financially uh, Christina, Maria Cristina became very important, uh, prominent, uh, because this is a very, very sweet girl. Uh, Maria Cristina, I have to tell it is exactly the way it mm -hmm. is. I was doing all kinds of stupid shit that, 
that I shouldn't be doing, but I was doing anyways. Uh, and the only thing that happened was I promoted Buckingham Palace British, who knew that were ruining my life so they could prove the world their point. You understand? These people never lose. When these people decide that they will portray you as a racist, as somebody like this, it's because they know that you are not, so that they get the whole world against you. And on the side, they send uh, very, very funny signals, even getting people on board that would witness, like for the cash, that, that you are not, and that kind of stuff, knowing what the truth is. With the Buckingham Palace, well, first of all, these are beasts. These are not people. And I know that this community doesn't like what I say because of the financial investments and so on. But listen, listen what I said in the beginning of this video. This is a time of humans. This is a time of the human era of the people, prosperity. We must not forget the common interests known as development, known as prosperity foremost. We are here on the continent. We live here. This is what we do. This is what we must create. Prince Andrew blocked me from relationship with the females of various racial backgrounds on just God knows how many fucking occasions. It was white, it was this, it was that. No, the truth is I was always, during MK Ultra, I was always very sensitive about how the female looked like. The, the, there is no doubt. And I did have this tendency to just push away anything that reminded me of uh, Eastern Europe which was completely contrary to my real taste. In real taste I was married to South American Ecuadorian Indian native female. Uh, I dated Latina women, women and have fun with them and would marry them uh, I wanted to marry badly some Dominican girls. They had some black in it. Uh, those are my martial uh, choices. Otherwise, in a place in Miami where I would not be allowed really to date white women. Simple as this. No, no, just exactly what I stated. And whatever brought here to Slovenia or used during MK Ultra. Uh, they just choked me. They just uh, were killing me. Claiming that it's not going to be a white woman you're going to be allowed to marry. So they created so insane environment that is impossible to, to describe. They created the chaotic uh, insane environment to literally eavesdrop, espionage, sting people, bug people, to see how people see, how people think. They went inside of the people's pockets. Fucking life, espionage, camera, that's all there was. Sting, that's all there was. I had a black girlfriend. I had women of all racial backgrounds. I wanted to marry a Chinese more than any other woman. It was like this in the US. Um, it's because French women were taught like this, Italian women were taught like this. If I didn't like, I was a racist. If somehow I liked the women in Italy or in France or in Spain or in Portugal, the woman was just, whoop, deleted. They just removed her. Or in Slovenia, they just fucking deleted her. In Slovenia, they wanted to destroy women. 
<laughs> the woman that I liked in Slovenia, she had to go and marry either Russian or Serb. That's it. They were killing, they were destroying women, females. They were ethnically persecuted them like you wouldn't fucking believe. Destroyed them, waste them. You were lucky if I didn't like you. You got to in a lot of trouble if I would. So this is what how British were proving their case. A Prince Andrew bullet in India. They were screwing with the women in India. I got bored. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it because of what took place before they even got me in India inside of this house. And then in India it was not any better. Everything appeared to me to be a lie. But somehow I acclimated to, by observing drugged up uh, other guys that were dating females, British royals. And I also wanted the females for myself. Indian women. Uh, as soon as I wanted uh, the Indian women, uh, the threats came surfaced. You're never going to see. Do you know where you are? Okay. You you watch yourself out, boy, because you're never going to come out of the city. You understand? You see this village? You're never going to come out. It was not only in India like this. It was also in South Africa. It was also in other locations. Don't look the women of color. Or you're through. It was the same for the Italy. In France, I will never forget, Prince Andrew, the females fucked him. It was several females, do you like me? I said, sure, I like you. Uh, do you want me? Yes, I want. Hell yeah. Okay, they told me. Okay, there were like two, three females. Okay, okay. Okay, you said, to me, but you sure you want? Yes, I do. I was sure, yes, I do. In the evening, they had a party, and the three girls popped up, nicely, beautifully dressed, and uh, they started to flirt over there with me. Prince Andrew jumped right in between. It was like, what's up? Uh, well, uh, he like me, he like her, he like, we, we want, uh, he likes, we want the relationship with him. You said that if he wants, that... We, we can have this and that. And the only thing that happened was, sorry, sorry, not possible, sorry, not possible, sorry, not possible, not possible. Mm -hmm. At home, I have a daughter. Her name is Eugenia. At home, I have a daughter. Uh, her name is, I can't even recall her name. Two daughters. Two daughters. He extorted with two daughters. He cannot go in the bed with you. Sorry, why? Because he already has promised to some other females. Ah, this is the way it operated. This is the way it operated. Uh, the thing is that French women knew about this. So I think they have some solid proofs about what I stated here. When it comes to the Andrew's daughter, let me see this. It's a very, very short story. It's a very, very short story. One daughter... It's a very, very short story. One is Beatrice. Very difficult for me to remember. Beatrice. And the other one is Eugenia. Eugenia... is a little bit more appealing anybody can tell but that's not exactly the truth that's at least what i started to see even if that was that was definitely not the truth the truth however is that beatrice had problem with the spine and it was prince andrew who started to intimidate me to torture me on a spine issues with idea to make me reject her the thing about it is that I didn't reject her. Beatrice, the most difficult one to marry, approached me, and in exchange for my yes, had promised herself to me, even Beatrice did. When it comes to Eugenia, 
Eugenia likewise promised herself to me, but her father, Prince Andrew, would not allow the relationship through what he referred to as a friend of Eugenia, and that was actually really a model, female, through which he started to extort me as per, which one do you want? Do you want Eugenia or you want this girl here? And I have chosen, drugged up the other girl. So this is how they got their shit going. But this is something that started already with the Benjamin Netanyahu in 1995 and a bunch of other people too, like Mike Tyson's daughter that is not even admitted as his daughter. The whole spectrum of people were claiming they have their daughters for me that I'm promised to this one, that I'm promised to that one. So you, you would have to go through the list of the hundred daughters of prominent politicians, including those of Vladimir Putin, to get to me. All you would have to wait is for them to reject me or for us to somehow end our special MK Ultra fucking shit relationship I didn't even fucking know about. What I'm trying to say is these people lied, murdered, killed, left and right. You got to understand the background of all this stuff and how this and that. That's why I like to give a special detail, a good detail, so you can understand my anger. It's not frustration, it's anger. I'm filled with the anger. It's not frustration. This beautiful girl into a 26-year-old, a beautiful girl, and uh, she was the most appealing to me in the whole area. That's because I later, earlier have stated to you that she was very important in this Feltre, this apartment, workers area more, you know. She was prominent, important to the people of Feltre because regardless of her beauty, as I saw it, <laughs> the, the, what the truth is, is basically what I told you. It's what I published here earlier today. Who the hell knows? what the truth is, what the fuck I saw under MK Ultra, who knows? Who knows what the hell I saw under MK Ultra? Today I published about this here, about these females, about what heavily have appeared to me, but what I actually even rejected in MK Ultra. I would marry a girl like this in a heartbeat at any fucking time. As a matter of fact, if I could, I would marry them all, if I only could. The thing about it is that with the British royals, I don't know which one was worse, either Vladimir Putin, Russians or Serbs or London. It's a special 1-800 number, London Cabal. It's a number for a special interests involving crime. Indre interests will make you, wherever you are located in the world, capable to bypass and constitution and laws, international treaties, everything you want. 1-800-LONDON CABAL makes all psychopathic dreams possible. They bypass absolutely everything. I think this was very, very important for me to stress out. Um, despite her being so beautiful to me under MKR Travel, well, you can see that she is a beautiful girl. Obviously, she would be beautiful, attracted to anybody. Uh, she would insist against me, in a way, with the people of in this area. She was just um, accepted by the people because she would not differ from uh, a requirement, requirements. Uh, that her people uh, ask her to please stick to. Her people appears, these Italian people in this region appears they felt like somewhat somehow discriminated against by my behavior. Which I am not going to deny because it was a stupid behavior. This was idiotic stupid behavior that was based on my being beaten up and terrorized, insulted inside of the ditches in the front lines of Bosnia, occupied parts of Croatia by the Serbs, literally to develop a character in me. 
which they had used for attacks on the positions of the Croats and on Bosnians. That means that they peeved me, they angered me so much that I started to come with the insults in the face of their rifles that would make probably anybody just uh, squeeze a cork, a gun, basically. You understand? I developed a character that I would literally go based on their bullying, terror, insults into their facial characteristics and started to insult them left and right. Well, this is the character they have developed with Vladimir Putin, with the Milan Kuchin in Slovenia and others, and it's a character that was used also to play down Germans, Scandinavians, Americans, French, and Italians alone, divide society all over Spain, Portugal, wherever the hell they would bring me. Because this is 1-800-London Cabal. This is how the special interest function. This girl, regardless of how much I liked her, um, she just sticked to her poorest part of the city. Uh, she just returned back, even after she traded uh, a place for a new location. As I stated, first Borgo Ruga and then Palo in the Port Oria district. She keep coming back and associate with the young people over there. And uh, be because to her, it was more important the community than herself. She, likewise, as some Indian girls, demanded from me, for me to see myself in a community uh, just as in her, for the relationship to work. This is why she captured a heart of the Feltre community. You understand? This is, this is what this is. And I hope I didn't go wrong. Uh, with what I stated in, in respect to MK Archery, the police is going to investigate this. But yeah, this is basically this little area here. But you know, in, in the video number one, this, this entire area, I have gone left and right, back and forth, all over the place. Basically entire Italy, not only this area, but this was, this was a very, very, uh, um, area environment that was very much involved in it. I wish all the best to this area. Um, hopefully I make it through and hopefully we something do together like a people build something based on the common interests known as prosperity, development, universities, hospitals, factories, jobs, that kind of stuff. Thank you very much for watching this video. I don't have anything else I would add to, it, to this. This is, this will be part number two of the video that you see here, MK Ultra. Here is how and who jump started the war against me throughout Europe. Um, I know that Mr. Ciro Bez is going to resent me. Uh, Ciro Bez, I think, is not Italian. But Ciro Bez was my MK Ultra friend. In other words, I don't know how the hell it happened, but I rejected Italians and I ended up as a friend with the Ciro Bess. Maybe that's interesting? Who is not native Italian? How about that? Um, I don't know. This was just a whole fucking mess. This whole thing, this MK Ultra didn't make, they really didn't have anything to do with me. Uh, if I really did hurt somebody along the way, uh, I hope that I make it up with detailed explanation on how it all went uh, and hope that we meet again somewhere, somehow, in better times. Um, Ciro Bez was just not so much attractive as Maria Cristina Masoko. I hope she finds her way back to life uh, and if not, I wish her the best with the Ciro Bez. Um, thanks for watching this video till next time